Well, here we go. It's craft club time. It's month number seven and it's all about glitter pastes. Let's have a look, a little look as to what you can expect when it comes to month number seven. Look at the beautiful cards you're going to be able to make. Now, to make the beautiful cards, you're going to need all the products. Now, as you know by now, you get them all, everything you need to make the product. So let's dive straight in. Let's have a look at everything that you're going to get inside. Now, it all comes combined within your little pocket, of course. So if you've got your divider and your binders, you're going to be able to then store them inside. But what we're going to do is we're going to dive straight in and show you everything. So let's take it all out. Now, you know by now, as well as these educational videos with myself, you get your booklet. Now, the booklet gives you five techniques when it comes to month seven glitter paste and we're going to do a few of these ones just shortly now you've got the step by steps you've got the pictures you've got the notes as well if you want to take any notes so that's included but this is what it's all about you've got your four tubs of glitter paste each of these ones here are 25 mil pots. Now you've got the gorgeous silver. We have then given you your midnight purple that you can see in here. What we're also going to be giving you is the rose pink, and then we're going to be giving you that gorgeous Pacific blue. All four of them are coming to you. Then what we're going to be giving you is we're going to be giving you your plastic stencils. Now you're going to get a load of these ones so let's dive in and take them all out because you're going to get your smaller ones your larger ones you're going to get your medium ones there's that many that i need to take them all out so what we've then got here is we've got different sizes so we've got our little embellishment stencils now although you're going to be able to use these with the glitter paste you can of course use these with the inks what about the gorgeous five and a half by five and a half mandala? Imagine coming in and then using your glitter paste with these ones here. Now, not only that, you're going to be getting your three and a half by seven and a half border stencil as well. But then look at these ones. Look at the huge ones you've got. These are seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. You've got your geometric stencil and your floral stencil. Now, of course, this is all about glitter paste, but you can still ink through them, spritz through them. You can then do the blend in through them, all these different techniques. Then what we're going to give you is all of these die cut sentiments. So these are all held in together. You just need to pop these ones out. These are all pre-cut. So you've got your thanks, hello and love. You've got them within the black and the white. But what we're giving you is the mats and layers as well. So you're just going to pop out the white, mat and layer them onto the black and vice versa. They're coming to you. What we're then going to be giving you is a couple of dies. Now, within this die here, you've got this kind of broken heart effect and you've got a matte and layer. A matte and layer or an aperture, but it's going to cut through all your dried glitter paste perfectly. That's included. But then to do all of this, you need your cardstock. Well, we've got you covered. Eight by eight cardstock. We are giving you your white. We are giving you the black as well. Now, you're going to get five of the white. You're going to get five of the black. So you can then, of course, yes, do your glitter paste over them, but you can still use them as mats and layers, or you can do the blending with your stencils if you want to. All of that is coming your way in month number seven, all about the glitter paste. Now, with these ones, you can do little sections. You can then do big, bold cards if you want to. You can then come along, and then if you want to do simple cards, you can do. If you want to do little easel cards, you can do. You can then use your colors individually, or you can start to create your own little ombre effect when it comes to the glitter paste. All of that is coming in month number seven. It is all about the glitter paste. It's giving you lots of different techniques that you can follow on through when it comes to the index. You've got the instruction booklet as well. Absolutely jam-packed full. It's going to go in your divider, and it's month number seven, and it's glitter pastes. Now, when it comes to our craft club, this one is month number seven, and it's all about our gorgeous glitter paste. We're going to be able to make 
this beautiful card. Now that card, we're going to be using the glitter paste and we're going to be using the die that comes included. So let's get started. Now to get started, I'm going to go in with that gorgeous seven and a half by seven and a half rose stencil. And I'm using my eight by eight black cardstock that you get included. Now, when it comes to this one here, I'm not going to use the full area of the eight by eight. You can use sections or of course you can, if you want to, use the glitter paste for the whole lot. Now, when it comes to using the stencils, you've got a couple of options. My preferred way is using our low tack tape hold it in at the top and then I've got a hinge. Now if you want to, you can invest in something like a repositionable sprays. So that just means you're going to have that tackiness on the back and you can keep using the stencil over and over again. But as I say, I've got all mine ready to go. It's held down using my low tack tape. Now I'm going to create a little bit of an ombre effect when it comes to the Pacific blue and also the sparkling silver. So I'm going to go and dive straight in. I mean, look at that gorgeous shimmer we can just see at the moment from that Pacific blue. And then let's go in with our silver. Now, when it comes to these ones, you do get a little foil lid as well. I do recommend keep that in there as well. So that's just going to prolong it a lot longer. Now I've got everything good to go, let's bring these ones in. I'm also going to come in with a little bit of kitchen towel here. And then this means that I'm going to then bring in something like a little spatula. It could be an inexpensive spatula or an old gift card that's no, no longer in use. And then you can just start to spread. Now let's go in with a little bit of the blue. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to do the whole lot. I'm just wanting to do a little area. So I'm going to go into the middle here and then I'm just going to start to scrape it over the top. And it's a little bit like you're buttering your toast. So I'm going to go in one area with the blue and then any of that excess glitter that is left, I can then go back in and then just decant that in. Then I'm going to go back in with my kitchen roll or tissue, take that excess off and then we can move in now to our silver. Now our silver, I'm only going to use a little bit at a time because I may get a little bit of cross contamination when it comes to the excess. I don't really want to decant that back in. So little at a time means that's then going to avoid having to then spread any excess back into the little tub. So what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to go in and then I'm just going to go over this middle area. I'm then going to go back into that center part and start to kind of blend it back in together. And then any of that excess remaining, I can then just start to scrape that all in. I don't need to, to can any excess back in. And then one of the main things is please put back the lids straight away. Now we've got the reveal. So let's go in with the reveal here. And this is what I meant by having the hinge now. What I can then do is grab from the top and then I can lift. Now, we're going to be able to see, look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Now what I can do is I can take that off. Now I need to let that dry. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of a bonus tip here. I'm going to go in with an additional bit of black matte cardstock. Once you've used your 8x8 from the Craft Club, just invest in our Crafters Companion matte black cardstock and then you're going to be able to continue to use your glitter pastes. I'm going to take that in here. What I'm going to do is a little wet wipe or a damp cloth and then I'm going to clean my stencil, but I'm going to clean it on top of my black cardstock. Now we're going to get a little bit of a sparkle from the glitter but what we're also going to get is kind of like a translucent feel to it once it's dried so once i start to clean that excess off here i'm going to lift now what we've got here is now that bit of the the white that is that liquid excess off my wipe there once that has dried what you're going to be left with is that so you've still got that shine and you're still going to get some of that shimmer, but that's now a nice way to use any of the excess glitter paste that's left on the stencil. What I would then recommend is then come along and then wash or wipe your stencil straight away. 
Let's go back to this one now, of course. I need to let that one dry. So what I've done is I've brought one in that is now already dried. I've used my guillotine and I've chopped it down to four and a half by four and a half. I've got the silver going into that Pacific blue, created that little bit of an ombre effect. What I'm then going to do is I'm then going to come in with a piece of our white cardstock that we get included as well. And I've chopped that down to four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Let's go in with our dies now. So when it comes to the dies included, we've got this solid outer heart and we've kind of got this broken heart effect. So with that broken heart effect, we're going to go in and we're going to die cut over our glitter layer. And then when it comes to the outer heart, we're going to do that into our white. Now these are a slightly deeper die. They're not quite a multi-craft die, but they're just a little bit deeper so that they're going to cut through the thick layer of your glitter. So I'm just going to hold that in. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to come in with my Gemini plates. So I'm going to go in with my cutting plate and we're going to layer them over the top. Now we're going to go in with our frosted magnetic and then top plate. So same plate configuration that you'll be used to when it comes to your die cutting. I'm going to use the G2 now you'll still be able to do this die cut when it comes to things such as your midi, no problem at all, even although it's folder based, or your original Gemini. We're going to let that do its thing, we're going to do that cutting. We're going to take the plates out here, and then what we can do is we can remove all of these layers. So we've now got our love heart. That's what I want. Don't bin that because we've now got an aperture that we can be using elsewhere. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to come in with this one. So this time what we're going to do is we want these die cut pieces because what you'll see is we're going to layer these over the top. But you have got a two for. What I mean by that is we've now got that that we can still use. So nothing is going to waste. If I bring in a little bit of white card so that you can see if you overlay, little mat and layer. So you've now got two cards from that one. But let's start to finish this one off. So let's come in with these layers here and then we're going to move everything out the way. And then for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my, I'm going to use my tacky glue here because I've got a little bit of time to position them. I'm going to go back and I'm roughly just going to pop them into place. So I've got an idea as to where they're going to go. And then I'm going to go in with my glue. Now, if you want to, if you're like me and you love your foam pads, you can use some of your little foam pads on the back and elevate these layers. Or alternatively, do what I'm doing and keep it flat when it comes to your heart with your tacky glue. So we're just going to go into this one here. We're going to add our glue on. Now I've used the silver and the Pacific blue, but you could come in with that rose pink or you could come in with the purple, of course do one solid color, or maybe come along and do an ombre effect with a couple of the other ones. But with that tacky glue, what we can do is we can position that all into place, press that in, we're then just gonna lift so you can see now where we've got that heart. Let's finish this off now. So I've gone in just with my own card blank that I've got here, five by five, and I've got an additional couple of layers. So I've gone in with that black and white cardstock included and I've cut this black layer to four and a half by four and a half. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to come in and mat and layer that onto a piece of white, which is just a little bit bigger, just a little bit and no more. Now for this layer, because I'm going white layer onto white, I want to create a little bit of a natural drop shadow. So I'm going to elevate that when it comes to my foam pads. So don't ever worry about doing white onto white. If you do do that, I would recommend lift within the foam pads. And then that means that you're going to be able to get that kind of natural drop shadow down the side that we can see here. All that I need to do now is come in with our love heart. We're then going to pop some foam pads on there, or you can use your glue gel. Then take these ones off, simply with the foam, with the back and being removed. That's then going to go into the middle just here. 
What I've then done with the off cuts from the white, I've just created little strips and little banners. So I've cut little half inch strips and I've cut a little V at each end. So I'm just going to shorten a couple of these ones with my scissors. Now when it comes to this one, I'm going to keep flat. That one can go relatively straight down the side there. This one, I'm going to go back in with a couple of foam pads and then we can then elevate that one just over the layer we've done. So let's then take these ones off there and there. This one, I'm just going to slightly cross over and then I'm going to go in with my sentiment. Now I've already layered this die cut love onto the white layer, so that's already done. And then all that I'm going to do here is let's go in with a foam pad. We're just going to add that to finish it off. Let's chop that up, add that to the back. And then what we can then do here is then let's go to the side, just there. And then there we go. We've got that really, really cool, that really, really funky broken heart where we've used our silver and our Pacific blue. We've then done it onto the black card let it dry, die cut, and I've also shown you how you can use the waist from the die cut and also the waist from the back of the stencil. That is just one of the projects that you can be making from our brand new month seven of our craft club, which is all about the glitter pastes. Now, when it comes to our craft club month number seven, which is all about our glitter paste, we're going to be making this lovely little four by six card. And we're going to bring in one of our tricolor aqua pens from our previous craft club. So what we're going to do to get started is we're going to bring in, of course, our stencil. We're going to come in with our mandala stencil and I'm going to come in with a piece of the cardstock that you get included. Now it is eight by eight and I have chopped it down to four by six at the moment. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to bring in the stencil and I'm going to kind of do it so it's just over the halfway point. So that is the halfway point there. I'm going to move it in. So there's maybe about, maybe about two thirds of the stencil onto my cardstock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my low tack tape to hold this one down. That's my preferred way to hold it down. You can, if you want to, invest in our repositionable sprays. But now that I've got that good to go, we're going to come in with our glitter paste. We're going to use the Midnight Purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that lid off. Now, I would highly recommend that you keep that foil lid as well. Just keep it in top there. And then when you screw the lid back on, that's then just going to enable you to continue to use the leftovers and it's not going to dry up. So what I'm then also going to do is come in with a little spatula. Now it can be an inexpensive one or an old gift card that you no longer use, something with a strong flat edge. Now I'm only going to use the one color here. So I'm going to make sure that I've got a good quantity. I'm going to start at the top here and then I'm just going to start to then scrape down. So I'm doing it as if I'm buttering my toast. And then what we can then do is take any of that excess off. If you want to put extra tape around the edge so that you know you're not going to get it onto your cardstock, you can do that. But then what we can do is scrape all that excess off. We can go back in to our tub and then we can come back in with our lid and that foil lid. And then we can then keep using that until we've run out. I'm going to then just give that a wipe and a clean. And then what I can do is come in now. I'm going to take my low tack tape off. I'm going to hold it the left hand side and then I'm going to lift. And then we've got that beautiful kind of two thirds mandala design onto our cardstock. So what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to move that underneath for now. I'm just going to take some of that excess off. That could have gone back into my little tub there, but I'm just going to move it out of the way for now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with our tricolor aqua pen. This one came in with the tricolor craft club and all that I'm going to do is use the orchid. So for this one, if you are taking note of them, this one came from craft club month three. And then all that I'm doing, some little water, 
and then I've got a paintbrush, dabbed it into a little bit of the water, and then what I'm going to do is then give that a swirl, and then I'm just going to give myself a flicking action. So we're just going to flick, and you can do as much or as little as you want. Now, both the tricolour aqua and the glitter paste, what we're going to have to do is let that dry. I'm going to move that out the way. So I'm just bringing in a layer that I've already let the glitter dry. What I've also done as well is chopped it down to three and a half by five and a half. All that I need to do is just re-step my last step with the orchid. Now I'm going to go in. Now I've already got a little puddle left over. I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then once again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with my paintbrush and water. I'm just going to take a little bit off of there so it's not too full of water and then what we can then do is come along and then we're just going to tap. Now I am using the orchid from Craft Club 3 which you'll already have but you can absolutely use any colour if you so wish. You don't have to use the orchid. Now that's all that I'm going to do there when it comes to that colour. So what I can then do is let's move that out the way just for a second because that's your tri-colour aqua that's going to take very, very little time to dry. Let's then just take off that layer there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in with my own card blank. Now that one is four by six and I've gone in with a black layer as well. Now that is just a little bit bigger than my glitter paste layer that we can see here. And then what I've also done is I've come in with one of the die cut sentiments. So I've used the thanks that is die cut in the black and then I've used the white layer to then matte and layer that. And I've just stuck them ones together using my tacky glue. I'm gonna come in here with foam pad and with these ones, I'm just gonna chop them down so they are a little bit thinner. So we can then pop that over the back there. I'm gonna pop that one there and then we can just use our scissors just to snip away any of that excess. Then what I'm going to do, I'm then going to come back to my layer here. Now, of course, with my glitter already dried, I let that one pre-dry before we started. I'm just then going to come along with my tape runner. So we're going to go all the way around here and then that can go onto my black layer. So we're going to pop that one over the top just here. We're going to position that one so we've got nice, even black layer all the way around. And then what we're going to do is we're then just going to do that again onto the back of the black. We're going to keep that really nice and solid with our adhesive. We've got a lot of strength here when it comes to the layer that's dried with the glitter paste. We're then just going to pop that one into the middle. Now, of course, with your sentiment, you can keep it completely flat and you're going to have a flat card, but with that lovely texture. I do like to elevate it slightly with my sentiment. What I am going to do though, is I'm still loving using my foam pads for any layer. You can use your glue gel if you want to, but because I'm using my foam pad, we've got that textured uneven layer. What I am going to do is I'm just going to take the backs off here and then I'm going to come along and I'm just going to add a little bit of my tacky glue. So I'm going to add a little bit of my tacky glue onto the back of my foam pad. So the foam pad will give me that instant stick, but because we've got a layer of unevenness, what will happen is the tacky glue, it will dry into the back of the foam, but it'll also start to dry into that dried glitter layer. So I'm just going to come in. I'm going to go central. You can go to the right hand side, the left, up, down. It's entirely up to you. I am going to come in from the left. We're then just going to press that into place. And then there we go. We've then got another beautiful but simple card where we have used the purple glitter paste. We've used the orchid from our tricolour aqua pen month number three. And then we've used a die cut sentiment as well. Black card, white card. And then there is our beautiful little card from of course our craft club month number seven, which is all about the glitter pastes. Now, when it comes to our craft club, this one being month number seven, and it's all about the glitter pastes, we're going to make this really, really lovely 
four by six card, but we're not going to use one glitter paste or two glitter paste. We're going to use three and create this blended ombre effect. So where do we start? We're going to start with our geometric stencil. Now this one is seven and a half by seven and a half, but I'm not going to use the full lot because as you can see here, I've just created a little panel. Now you can, if you want to, glitter paste the full layer and then chop down afterwards. But all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my glitter paste on a section and then once dry can then be chopped down. Now for this one, you just need to decide on which three of the four you're going to use. Now you might want to use all four, you can absolutely do that. So we're going to use the rose pink. So I'm going to get all of my tubs ready to go. So I've got my rose pink. I'm going to use the Midnight Purple. And then I'm also going to come in with the Pacific Blue. The other thing you just need to decide is which order you're going to go in. I'm going to start with the pink, go in with the purple, and end with the blue here. So what we can do is we're going to go in with our little spatula. It could be an inexpensive spatula, or it could be something like an old gift card that you're not going to be using. Something that's got a long, strong edge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start within the middle of that purple and then work outwards. So I'm going to come in here with my purple and then I'm just going to go within the middle here. And I'm going to do a little bit of a strip. So let's just go in to the middle here and then we're just going to fill our geometric design. So I can then scrape that excess off and then I can then decant that back into place and I can move that out of the way. Each time I'm just going to take a little bit of kitchen towel and take that excess off. And then this time I'm going to stick with the darks to start with. So then we're going to go in with the blues. Now, when it comes to something like that, you may start to get a little bit contamination when it comes to the excess glitters. What you can do is use a small amount at a time so you don't have to decan any back in or get yourself some inexpensive empty little containers. And if you start to then contaminate your colors together, decant it into an empty one, you've got your own color that you've then created. So you've got a few options. So with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the blue and then I'm just going to go in with my layer to start with. So I'm not worried at the moment about that crossover into the purple. We're just going to go in and then what we can then start to do is blend these ones back in. Now at this point, this is where you can start to get a little bit of contamination. Now this is when I would then decan any of the excess into a little empty container. But what I am just going to do for now, I'm just going to pop the excess onto my glass mat and there's a reason being. So then we can go in and we can blend that into place. Just take that excess off where I've got a mix of the purple and the blue. Then we're going to go in with our kitchen roll and we're just going to take that excess off. And then last but by no means least, what we can do is we can go in with the pink. Now for me, I now find it easier to then just turn it around in my direction. We're gonna go in with the pink and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna lay that color down, get that pink tone down, and then what I'm gonna do, before I start to blend together, I'm taking that excess off, which is all pink, and then I can then decant that in, no contamination. Then we're gonna to start to blend together. Blend all that one together that we can see here. And then that excess, let's just pop that all together. Before we do this reveal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a bit of cardstock so I've got that good to go. I'm going to come along and then I've got my hinge at the top. So what I can do is lift, look at that. How epic is that? Then what I'm going to do Let's take that, move that out the way. Let's bring in, got a little bit of our A4 multi-purpose. You can use your cardstock that you've got so that we're not going to waste this mixed color. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go in. Now there's going to be very, very little, so there's not going to be a full on design. But what I am just then going to do is come in here and just scrape as much as I can. I'm then going to come in just with a little bit of a damp cloth, as if I'm going to then clean my stencil. So essentially I am, but I'm pushing all that excess onto my card. If I then lift that up, 
then what we've got is kind of like a blended effect. So we've got that dark with the mix of the pink, the purple, and the blue. And then we've got all that excess that's just start to be blended out. So don't ever waste any of the excess that you've got. What we can then do is bring this one back in. You, of course, need to let that dry. Now, for that to dry, it would be touch dry within a couple of hours, but I would highly recommend leave it overnight for it to fully set. Then you can then post it out or gift it to whoever you're going to be giving it to. Once it is dried, we're then just going to chop it down. Now, all the adhesive will then dry and you're going to be left with that gorgeous shimmer. I've chopped it down to three by five and then all we need to do is come in with some of our mats and layers. So we're going to mat and layer that onto our black card. So you can either use the cardstock that you get within Craft Club month number seven or you can use your black multi-purpose from Crafters Companion. Same with my white layer here. I'm then going to then mat and layer that onto another bit of black. So that is three and three quarters by five and three quarters. Once you've used your cardstock that's left over from your craft club, invest in your white multi-purpose. Also then invest in your black matte cardstock and you can keep using that. Now what you can also do is use your glitter paste onto your vellum, your acetates, materials, all these different mediums you're going to be able to use your glitter pastes on. So don't just use the cardstock included, have a look to see what mediums you've got at home. So there's my base layer and I've done a little black matte and layer. For this one, what we're going to do is we're going to add some of our foam pads to the back. We're just going to layer them ones up, we're going to add them in, we're just going to pop layer upon layer, add in height. This will work really, really well if you want to keep it completely flat. But of course, you know what I'm like. I love to have that additional height. So go in. We've gone for, I mean, can we just take a second to appreciate that blended ombre effect between the pink, between the purple and that Pacific blue. You've created that yourself at home. And a really simple card that's made all revolving around a couple of mats and layers. That looks beautiful. We need a sentiment though. Well, you know we've got you covered when it comes to our craft club. I'm gonna go in with Hello. Now the Hello is the black die cut and I've just used our tacky glue and popped that onto our white solid mat and layer. And we cannot add a sentiment without lifting it onto some foam pads. So I'm just gonna go in with a couple of foam pads here. Now, I do like my foam pads. You can use your glue gel, and that will, of course, dry into all of the grains of the glitter card. If you are wanting to use your foam pads, like I like to do, what I would recommend, come in with a little bit of your tacky glue onto the back of your foam pad. Now, the reason I do that is because the tacky glue will dry into the foam pad, but what it'll also do is it'll work its way around all the levels and the grains of that dried glitter card. It's going to be rock solid, and we can then sit that in the middle, the top, the bottom, at an angle. We can turn our card around if you want to. So you've got options. If you've got little gems or pearls left over, they can go into the middle. Or what about this white? This is the white card stock. Once it's dry, go in with your water reactive ink pads and then you can colour all of the white geometric area. Lots and lots of craftability when it comes to your glitter paste. Look at that, four by six, very, very simple, but by gosh, how effective is that card? And remember, you can follow along with this video. You've got the instructions as well in written form and the pictures, we've got you covered four by six from, of course, our craft club. It's month number seven, and it's all about our glitter pastes.
Now, when it comes to our craft club, there's so many projects that you can make with these ones. Now, with month number seven, which is all about the glitter pastes, this is what we're going to be making. Now, we're going to be using the glitter paste in a little bit of a different way. And when it comes to the stencils, we're actually going to ink through them. So where do we get started? Well, we're going to get started when it comes to the embellishment stencils. So within this one, we're going to use the stars here. Now, I've just popped it on a bit of black so that you can see I don't actually need that black card. What I've got here, this is the backing off of our foam pad sheets. Now, you can use, if you want to, your non-stick craft sheet. You can use your multimedia craft mat if you want, or a bit of non-stick parchment paper, something along those lines. But what, what works really well is the back end of your foam pads. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to come in with my stencil and I'm going to overlay that. So what I then need to do is I'm going to come in with my low tack tape. Now, with this one, what you need to be aware of, if I stick that on, because that is a non-stick backing, that's still just going to prise away. So what I'm going to do is overlap that slightly onto my non-stick backing sheet and also onto my glass mat. So that's going to stop it moving. And then if you wanted to secure it even more, you can do. Just ensuring your tape goes from the stencil to the background onto your glass mat or your surface, stops it moving. We're then going to go in with our sparkling silver and we're also going to go in with our rose pink. So we're going to get our lids off. I'm then going to come in with my little spatula. So we're going to bring that one in. And what we're going to do within this one here is we're going to start to create a couple of solid stars and a couple that are a little bit of a blended ombre. So I'm going to go in with my pink at the moment. I'm not worried about going over the edge just now. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to start to overlay that onto the top. Just going to take a little bit more that we can see just here. I'm not worried about going into this larger star at the moment because this is where we're starting to blend the silver together. So let's make sure that we've got quite a good layer of the glitter paste onto our star. So if I just need to pop a little bit into there, you don't want to see any of that non-stick backing. If you see that, well, the magic that I'm going to show you just shortly won't happen. So let's take that all off there. We're just going to move all that out of the way. And then we're going to take in just a little bit of kitchen roll, taking off any of that excess. We're now going to go into the silver take a little bit of the silver and I'm just going to do a little bit at a time because I don't want to have a lot of contamination between the silver and the pink. So we're just going to blend them in together. I'm going to cross a little bit into the star and then we're just going to do a little bit into that additional star and then we're just going to fill over and leave it like that. So what we're then going to be left with is we're going to be left with our star that is onto this non-stick back end. So I'm going to carefully lift that up. So this is what you're going to be left with. What you need to do is let that dry. Now, when you leave that dry, what we're then going to be left with is something like this. Now, because it's on non-stick, what we can then do is peel these off. Because the glue has dried completely, and now we have got our own little individual star. Now, because that is a dried adhesive backing, hold that with a little bit of heat. That can then go onto your windows, and then you can peel them off with no residue. And what you're then going to do is you're going to do that a number of times. So we're going to take them off there, and then what I've already got here is these pre ones as well. So I've done them onto my non-stick backing sheet. So I've got all these little stars here that are good to go ready in a moment. So let's move that out the way. What I've then got is I've got a piece of my white cardstock that I've cut down to five by five. For this one, what we're then going to do is we're going to come along with our geometric stencil. So I'm going to come back in with my low tack tape and we're just going to hold it into place. And then I'm going to come in with one of my water reactive ink pads. This one we're using is the Pale Tulip. Now with this one, very, very pale, and I don't want a lot of color, 
but I want that light tone. Now at first, it's going to look like potentially there is not a lot of colour on your background. But once you start to lift that stencil and you do that reveal, that's when you're really going to see all of that white work that's left over. So we're just going to blend that over the top. I'm just going to be careful when I then move my blending tool in the circular motions. We're just going to add that colour on. So this is now shown as well how the stencils that come included within Craft Club month number seven, you don't just have to use them when it comes to your glitter paste. You can start to ink through them, spritz through them, blend through them, or even run them through your Gemini with the embossing mat and you're going to get the embossed detail. So we're just going to carry on just around the edge and now you'll see when I lift from above, we're then going to see, look at that. We've then got our inked background with that geometric design within that pink water reactive. So now what we can do, let's move all that out the way and then we're going to come and start to assemble this. So we've got our layers. So I've got my blended layer that is five by five. I'm then going to come in here. I'm going to come in with my layer that I've created my background. I'm then going to add that onto my black layer here. So I'm going to add that in. Now it is just a little black layer that I've created. What I'm then going to come and do is then layer that one onto my card blank. Now my card blank is five and a half by five and a half inches. You can of course create your card blank whatever size that you want. You're just going to adapt the layers. Let's come in and position that one over the top here. I'm then going to come in with a couple of other layers that I've cut. So my white, this one here is three by three. So I'm going to come in with this one not doing any inking or any glitter paste, nothing like that. We're just going to come in here. We're going to pop that one over the top like so. And then I'm going to turn that at an angle. I'm then going to come in with my layer that I've matte and layered with the white card. I'm just going to add my foam pads to the back. Now for this card, I would highly recommend add in some foam pads onto this middle layer because it's really going to lift and elevate and it's really going to pull the focus into the stars. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over and we're going to pop that at that square diamond angle there. And then before I pop my sentiment into place, what we're going to do is we're going to come in with all of the stars. Remember, these have now dried off of our nonstick backing and I'm going to tear them to my card using my tacky glue. So what I'm going to start to do as well is we're going to chop in to a few at a time. So we're going to create a kind of background where our stars are coming from one corner and working their way up. So we can then create our own little tuckins that we can see here. For this one, I'm going to come in with another medium star and I am positioning them into place before I adhere them with my card. So let's go in with that one. Then we're going to go in with that one. I've got another smaller one just into here. Let's go in with one of the big ombre stars there. I'm then going to come in with a star there and then a really, really small dinky star into there. And then what I can do is now that I am happy, now I'm not going to press this down, I'm just going to hover over the top and I'm happy with that layout. So for this one, what we can then do is we're going to come in and on the back, so just feel what one is the green side with the glitter, what one's the smooth side. So on the smooth side, I'm just going to add some of my tacky glue. Also remember your tacky glue is going to dry completely clear. You're not going to see the wet glue anyway, but at least you know that your tacky glue, because it's on the back layer of your dried stars, this is of course not going to be seen. So press that into place. What we're then going to do is we're just going to then add them onto the smaller stars. Now beforehand, I was talking about how these would work onto your windows because you've got that dried backing of the adhesive. 
add a little bit of heat within the palm of your hands they'll stick to your windows once you peel off there'll be no residue but that also means then you could adhere them onto things such as acetate or anything like that now it won't necessarily be permanent unless you add an adhesive with it but it's nice to know that you can then have fun in positioning these stars into different areas and mediums let's go i'm going to put that medium one there i'm then going to come in with a smaller one so pop them onto the back each time just having a little bit of a feel see which side is the grainy side with the dried glitter paste and then what i'm doing is i'm popping my tacky glue onto the smooth dried glued side we're just going to come in to there we're going to come in with this one here we're then just going to position that one there and then we're just going to come in with that final star sit that one there we're just going to add just a little bit of tacky glue just at the end of that star we're going to come back in with our sentiment because we're going to go onto our grain of our dry glitter i'm just going to add a little bit of tacky glue i'm then just going to come along hold that for a second and then there we go we've now got our beautifully pink and silver that's five and a half by five and a half we've inked through the stencil in the background we've then done the glitter paste within the star embellishment stencil onto a non-stick sheet dried peeled off assembled together and that is another beautiful card that you can be making from our craft club which is month number seven and it's all about the glittery glitter pastes